Hi there, and welcome to my channel. I'm Liz, and today I wanted to share a video that may help you or someone you know, and that is the do's and don'ts of how to present yourself when you're going to court or a court-like um, appointment. So it could be arbitration, mediation, a deposition, um, just anything where there's gonna be an, you know, attorneys and a judge. This is gonna give you some direction on how to present yourself in the best light. And I know people get angry with, you know, that there's rules or social rules or society shouldn't judge on how you look, but it really isn't society. That is human nature. That will happen um, always and has happened always. As humans, the only way that we can kind of size someone up or make an initial opinion before you know someone is by how they present themselves. So just having that in your mind, um, you have to know that there are some instances where it is important that you present yourself in the best possible manner that you can. So hopefully this video will help you out for whatever reason you need to go to court. And going to court doesn't have to be for a devious event or a mistake or a bad choice. It can be for uh, getting a marriage license or going through a divorce or adopting a child or maybe getting your name changed or settling a family member's estate who's recently passed or even something as simple as a traffic ticket. So there is a range of reasons why you may need to be in a court-like or government system appointment and hopefully these uh, do's and don'ts will help you out. All right, so let's get into it. And don't number one is going to be uh, avoid casual attire. So don't wear your t-shirts, your jeans, your sweatpants, athletic wear, um, anything casual or that you would wear to practice or something like that. I mean, you, you have to know where you're going and just think about uh, the professionals there that are there every day. So the judge is wearing a robe every single day. The attorneys are wearing a suit or shirt and tie every single day. So certainly you can get out of the sweatpants <laughs> and uh, dress up a little nicer, a little more presentable uh, for this appointment. So number two is going to be don't dress provocatively. Um, just don't show your shoulders, your chest, or your legs. So yes, that means no spaghetti straps, no strapless top, no low cut blouse, um, and no you know, mini skirts and things like that. So for the women, of course, um, th that, that this is not the place for that. That is absolutely not appropriate for this circumstance. So do consider wearing a suit or even a button up uh, blouse or shirt uh, for men and women. This is appropriate attire. And nowadays with uh, Amazon and you know all of the outlet centers and secondhand stores, you can certainly get something that is affordable if you don't have um, you know these types of attire on hand. And I will also link some options from Amazon in the description box below. So if you are in a pinch or you just don't even know where to start, um, I'll definitely put some men and women's options in the links below that you can check out. And, and don't number three is going to be avoid distracting patterns colors and logos so nothing real loud nothing super flashy again this isn't the time or place that isn't needed so that you aren't diverting attention from the situation and what is going on um, opt again for a for, for women a lovely blouse conservative blouse or button-up shirt and uh, men also can opt for some kind of buttoned shirt uh, a tie would be great, a suit would be wonderful, but any of those options would work just fine. Don't number four, do not wear sunglasses on, on your face or on your head or anywhere showing as an accessory or hats, even if it's a stylish hat. Um, I know there are some classy hats, but it just isn't the place to wear them. It isn't uh, appropriate in this setting, so don't 
uh, wear sunglasses or hats to any of your court appointments. And don't number five, don't wear overly casual shoes. So no sneakers, no flip-flops, no sandals, of course no slippers. <laughs> you also don't want to wear any, um, ladies, any of your super fancy uh, pumps. Like just, you know, not the place for hot pink or, you know, the, the interesting heels. Uh, this is the time to just uh, tone everything down and wear a classic pump. So men and women closed toed shoes and women can wear a classic pump um, of course like a ballerina flat a loafer something like that and then men any kind of dress shoe or loafer would work uh, just fine but no casual shoes all right and don't number six is avoid flashy accessories so i even like you know big hoops and things like that and there is a time and a place for them. So even for today's video, I opted for just some diamond stud earrings. Uh, they could be real or not real. Any kind of stud that you have would be great. I would say remove all other jewelry. Um, it is good for women to have, you know, just simple earrings. And then, you know, I would say remove all other piercings and things going on if you have them really just understated you don't want to distract with just all these other things going on that maybe when you're out and about in your normal life um, you kind of like standing out in that way uh, this is just a kind of understated situation where you you really don't want to do that and so I would say do limit your jewelry. Um, again, for even for this video, I only left one ring on. I didn't wear any bracelets, kind of to portray the look. Like it is okay uh, to bring it down a few notches for just to show respect for the system. And I know some people can uh, be angry with the system or not like the system but you know in america especially we still have the best system in the world it's not perfect but um you know it, it we do need to show respect for the men and women that show up to help keep everything working um you know day after day and year after year and so you can present yourself in this atmosphere in the best light that you can all right, and for number seven, we're gonna flip this around and do make sure you're well-groomed. Make sure that you're, you know, clean, uh, that your hair is clean and brushed and you can pull it back or just do something neat with it um, the, to the best that you can and just try to look uh, presentable and clean, well-groomed, uh, smelling good, uh, don't show up all sweaty from the gym or <laughs> something like that. Don't wear excessive fragrances. Women, if you normally, you know, are super done up with the over makeup and big eyelashes and this and that, this may not be the place to do that. Uh, definitely toning it down again is going to be the best option. Like just always thinking um, understated and classic, I guess, would be the best way I can describe it. Classic, modest, tone, toned down and clean and clear of too many distractions. Okay, and don't number eight should go without saying uh, don't wear clothing with offensive or polarizing <laughs> graphics and words on them um, is not a time to make a statement it, it, that doesn't work in this system and it isn't the place so opt for you know just something again conservative and pretty classic in colors and pattern and uh, coverage and you will be just fine. Don't number nine is don't dress extravagantly. So for women, this could be wearing tight clothing. Um, for men, sagging pants. Um, anything just two in one style or another. Um, again, you're just gonna wanna think what maybe we like what the attorneys wear or maybe something you would consider wearing to a really important uh, business 
uh, interview or something like that. So you're not gonna, this isn't the, the, the style time. This is the uh, really to draw attention away from you. You just kind of wanna blend in and look like a regular Joe Schmo. <laughs> And don't number 10 is don't dress too formally. So you do not need to wear a tuxedo, gentlemen, and ladies, no ball gowns or gowns of any type. Uh, that is overly formal, that is out of place, that is not the correct attire for this. Uh, instead, again, a suit for men or women would be just fine, a button down shirt and some lovely slacks and just some nice closed toed shoes is really gonna be the key uh, for appropriate dress at any courtroom event. All right, those were my 10 tips. I hope that um, walking you through these and the picture examples helped you out. Again, I do have some items linked below if you need a little more help in choosing the right items. Um, but I do wish you the best of luck uh, through whatever your reason for going to court is and I hope that you get the outcome that you would like or also know uh, if you have gotten mixed up with something that it is not the end but a great time to maybe make a change in your life and choose uh, differently in the future. So I thank you so much for stopping in and uh, watching this video. I hope that it helped you out. I hope that you have a great day and I wish you all the best.